I'm a cyborg. This is a canon film by Golan Globus, so you know it's batshit crazy and awesome. Cyborg is a post-apocalyptic action horror film from 1989 directed by Albert Payan and starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. Cyborg is an often overlooked entry in the JCVD library, but it is worth a watch. Van Damme was fresh off the success of Bloodsport, and made this before his string of absolute bangers. Van Damme in Kickboxer. Impact. There's two of them. Times two. Universal Soldier. Hard target. Time cop. I got a boner. That turned him into a bona fide action star in the 90s. You think you're big time? Cyborg is a great vehicle to showcase his action and acting chops, which are on full display here. It starts with a narration setting the stage for the post-apocalyptic wasteland we are about to be a part of for the next 86 minutes. Then when it seemed things couldn't get any worse, we got the plague. And then we heard the rumors that the last scientists were working on a cure. Why? I like the death. I like this one! Let's get this out of the way right from the start. This movie is weird as fuck. All of the characters in the movie are named after guitars. Jean-Claude Van Damme as Gibson Rickenbacker. Vincent Klein, a.k.a. Warchild. Back off, Warchild, seriously. Is Fender. And there is another minor character named Marshall that gets his head cut off in the first five minutes. I would have loved to see them fight with guitars, or at least face each other and see who can shred the gnarliest solo. It has some weird Christ allegory stuff going on throughout, with plagues, Fender's upside down cross earring, and JCVD's literal crucifixion and figurative rebirth. The lack of subtlety hits you in the face like a jumping spin kick. And attempting to make this movie something deeper than a story about information carrying cyborgs being kidnapped by plague pirates and rescued by karate slingers is a mistake. <laughs> the plot is thinner than single ply toilet paper. You're fucking shit. To cure the plague with the information that she's carrying. I want to own it. And covered in just as much shit. Own the cure? I'd be a god. Bender wants to own the cure to the plague that is ravaging the planet so he can become a god or some crap. Bunch of crap or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Pearl is the titular cyborg who has the information needed to give to the scientists. And JCVD plays a slinger who helps get Pearl's information to Atlanta. Most of the dialogue is exposition. There's a group of doctors there, the last ones. They've been working on a cure for the plague. They need information I have. My family died from the plague. So did most everybody else I've known. So as soon as I heard the pirates talk about this woman, I knew I had to do something to help. It constantly cuts to flashbacks of JCVD and a family he grew fond of as he was transporting them out of the city. The intent is to give him some character motivation, both in his desire to rescue Pearl the Cyborg, to help his new tag-along friend, Nady, and to get his revenge on Fender for dropping them down a well. Falls in a well, eyes go cross, she gets kicked by a mule, they go back to normal. I don't know. It is also revealed that his adoptive daughter who dropped them down the well is part of the pirate gang now. It is brutal and violent, blurring the lines of horror and action. This guy's a real jerk. It has a very low budget feel, with mostly poor acting. Let it go! I like this world. Go to hell. Been there. <laughs> Sound effects. And enough slow motion to make John Woo jizz in his pants. Jizz in my pants. Despite some of its acting and budget shortcoming, 
It has an impressive production design with a gritty, dark, post-apocalyptic tone. Fucking A. It originally was conceived as a sequel to Dolph's box office and critical disaster Masters of the Universe. No! And used many of the sets and costumes originally designed for it. Including this shiny blouse that Van Damme wears throughout. It has a relatively slow pace, punctuated with solid action set pieces and fight scenes. One of the highlights is a slow chase through a sewer, with a great build-up and payoff in this great shot. That's just fucking great, man! Cyborg does have a great synth score which helps accentuate the atmosphere. I guess Fender is too strong in this world. Fender must be destroyed. In Atlanta we have the means. Whatever the fuck that means. Bunch of crap, I don't know. Nothing can stop him in this world. But he's weaker in Atlanta. So the final showdown is in the rain on the abandoned streets of Atlanta. <laughs> they really up the ante doing excessively awesome shit like Spin kicking a guy already on fire into a car where he explodes. Since Fender doesn't have the same body as Bennett, I gotta kill you now! he ditches his chainmail so we can watch these two shirtless beefcakes I got a settle their differences like they used to in the 80s. Punching each other repeatedly in the face. Give me a hell yeah! In the face! In the face! Was Fender also a cyborg? Why was he so strong in this world and weak in Atlanta? How did he survive being stabbed in the heart? Hello? And why did he make a weird shutting down noise when he got impaled on that meat hook? It is an easy rewatch for fans of Van Damme or post-apocalyptic settings.